Hey YouTube, it is Nicole here back on this Saturday morning. I hope you guys are doing great out there. And welcome back to Nicole's View. Fair warning, this video may not be appropriate for children. So if you don't want to hear a little bit of cursing, you don't want to hear a little bit of me going off, you might want to make sure you have this um, your earphones in or whatnot or have the volume down at a level where children cannot hear because I tell you this story right here has me literally enraged. As a black person every day in this country you have to literally walk around in a state of being enraged. The great James Baldwin talked about it all the time in his poems and speeches. He talked about this all the time. And to think that in the year 2017, we still have to talk about this. We still are being attacked, hunted by some of these devils out here who know nothing but being savage, who know nothing but killing, destruction, and anything else you can think of. So I'm sure many of you have heard about this story, or if you haven't, it is a disgusting, evil, demonic story that's coming out of Westchester, PA. And it's here, they're releasing the sketch, and they released the sketch of a gunman in a teen's road rage killing in Chester, CO, or county, uh, Westchester, PA. Authorities have released a sketch of the gunman who shot and killed a teen driver during a road rage incident earlier this week in Chester County. Now, let me say this. Right now, they're saying, you know, they're just going to label it a road rage killing. But in my gut, in my heart of hearts, I don't think it was just road rage. I think this was also a hate crime. Yes, I'm saying it early right now. You can't tell me anything else. You can't. I believe in my heart of hearts, this disgusting savage, or as our brother Phil out there on the advice show says, this is typical Neander thug behavior. This is what this is. And I'm sure the minute I post this video up, I am going to get the trashy, disgusting, white supremacist minion trolls out there who think they're going to come up in, on my comment section, which I'm not even going to argue with you. You're just going to be deleted and blocked immediately. I believe that he saw this girl and I think he said, oh, oh, really, you little nigger bitch, you, I'll show you, I'll show you. And he shot her right in the head. He didn't shoot at her tire. He didn't shoot in the back seat. He didn't shoot just randomly to scare her. He shot her and blew her brains out. That is what he did. And that to me says it all. I'm not going to pussyfoot around and say, oh, this is just, he just got angry and, you know, he just had to pull out his gun and this is just road rage. This is road rage plus black hate rage. Yes, I'm saying it now. I am predicting it now. And even if they do find him, this, this disgusting animal, this fucking Neander thug piece of shit, if they find him now and he just says, oh, I just lost it, you know, I, 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 she, she just made me mad and I have road rage. It had nothing to do with the race. He's going to do that and he's going to get away with it. He's going to get away with it. This should be a hate crime too. But they're going to say, it's going to be hard to prove that. We really don't know what's in his mind. We don't know what's in his heart. But the fact that he pulled out a gun and shot her point blank, sh shot her straight in the head, that tells me everything I need to know. Continuing. The driver is described as a man between 20 and 40 years of age with a medium build and blonde hair. Police say he was behind the wheel of a red pickup truck with faded paint. He remains on the loose and is, and is considered armed and extremely dangerous. So this is the disgusting Neander thug piece of shit here. And if you guys see him, you need to report, you need to call it in to the police. Um, whatever, you know, they decide to do with it, I guess that they'll figure it out. And this is him. So to me, this looks very generic. 
I mean, I, I, I need some color, but of course, this is this is what we got right now. This is what we got. Um, he is in a red faded beat up pickup truck. They don't have his license plate and all that information, but I'm hoping someone finds this disgusting animal and he is um, dealt with. Plain and simple. Bianca Nicole Roberson, 18, died in the incident on Wednesday afternoon on Route 100 in West Goshen Township. Anyone who witnessed the incident or has any information is urged to contact the West Goshen Police Department Traffic Safety Division at 610-696-7400 or 610-696-7400. Seven four zero zero. Sometimes I'll say O. Oh, sometimes I'll say zero. It stands for zero. Um, okay. Authorities say Roberson and the pickup truck driver were trying to merge in the same lane before the case of road rage turned deadly. And a man in the red pickup truck pulled out a gun and shot her in the head, killing her, said DA Tom Hogan. Highway cameras revealed Roberson and the pickup truck driver had some sort of altercation minutes before spinning out of control. A second photo shows the red pickup truck moments after the crash fleeing the scene on Route 202 before exiting onto Pololi Pike. Every cop in three states is looking for this red pickup truck, Hogan said. They were jostling for a position or whatever, and unfortunately, this gentleman, this gentleman took it to a degree that was just unconscionable, said West Goshen Police Chief Joe Gleason. Police Chief, I'm sorry, Joe Gleason said, gentlemen, gentlemen, I want you guys to look at how they talk. And some are going to say, no, 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 no. This is just what they have to say. They can't go out there and, you know, just, you know, say whatever. Bull. Bull, bull, bull. I've heard many of these cops. Whenever stuff like this ha happen, they'll call them cowards. They'll say all kind of stuff. They'll call them thugs. But... This police chief said this gentleman took it a degree that was just unconscionable. No, this savage beast took it to a, a degree that was unconscionable. Okay, let me reword that for you. Crime Stoppers is offering a $5,000 reward in this case to that man who fired that shot. Turn yourself in now, Hogan said. Every second you are out there, you are only making this worse for yourself and making this worse for this young lady's family. Roberson was a recent graduate of Bayard Rustin High School in Westchester and was set to attend Jacksonville University in the fall. Her brother told Action News she was headed for greatness. Damn. On Thursday, Action News learned this is just the latest tragedy for Roberson's family. Four years ago, they lost Bianca's older brother. Family members say when Wednesday's crash happened, Roberson had just left an area mall, as I said earlier. She was shopping for college clothes with her mother and grandmother. I hope it's not Bianca. That's what the teen's granddaughter said to herself as she passed the crash site Wednesday, intending to meet up with her granddaughter at home. Wow. Wow. So they actually passed her. They passed her, not even knowing that that was, that was their family member. That was their daughter, their granddaughter. Oh, my God. This is sick. She had no idea that traffic backup she was sitting in was caused by the crash involving her granddaughter. Oh my God, this is horrible. Not one bit, added Aunt Mary Hudson Hayes. And then when she saw the police, she said she had this crazy feeling, that premonition. Oh my God, I don't know what I was saying. Police were already at the house to notify Roberson's family that she had died at the scene. She's so young. And to go through something like that by herself, she had to have been pretty scared. I, oh my God, can you can you just imagine? Said Dante Albert, Bianca's brother. This poor family had to pass by the not even knowing or having that gut feeling. We hope that's not our family. We hope that's not our daughter, our my sister, my granddaughter. 
And I had read somewhere that she was, she wanted to, um, after she graduated college, she wanted to work in the FBI or for the FBI. And isn't it a sick, twisted coincidence that now the FBI and local police and everyone out there is investigating her death? Isn't that just amazing in a sick, disgusting, twisted way? They better find this fucking disgusting animal. And to me, this picture is just seems so like, it just seems generic as hell. But maybe, maybe this artist was spot on and maybe someone will match his ass up. So I'm going to play the um, news clip for you guys and see what they're saying. So just sit tight a minute and here... We go. News: Police in Chester County are looking for this man in connection with a deadly road rage shooting. Officials say he shot an 18-year-old girl in the head before her vehicle crashed into a tree earlier this week. Friday night, Rick is off. Brian Taft joins us. The big story on Action News is that new clue from police as they continue their manhunt for a killer. Action News reporter John Rollins live at West Coast and Police with details. John. Hi, guys. Well, uh, we got an update a short time ago from officials here. They say literally hundreds of tips have come into the police station here, not just from just this region, but from the entire nation. 20 investigators are now assigned to various aspects of this case. Up till now, the best identifier had been some blurry pictures of a red pickup truck involved in all of this, a faded red pickup truck. Now that sketch, which after working with a witness, gives us a sense of what the man inside that pickup truck might look like. Does the man in this sketch look familiar? A white male, 20 to 30 years old, maybe older, blonde, or light brown hair? It's as close that we can get as of right now. Um, so they're probably 70 to 80% accurate with regard to the composite. And this was just completed within the last hour or so. Investigators believe he is the driver of the red pickup truck who shot 18-year-old Bianca Roberson in a road rage incident on Wednesday as the vehicles merged in traffic. It was basically a, uh, I'll use the, the term cat and mouse game between two vehicles. Bianca Roberson's family is reeling from what has occurred in less than 48 hours. First, they thought they lost their 18-year-old daughter in a fatal road accident. Then news of the pickup truck and possible road rage. Then the news of the gunshot. Now we have to deal with the fact that an uh, uh, unknown man, for no reason at all, uh, shot our daughter. Who he didn't know. Who he didn't even know. A crowdfunding site has been set up with the blessing of the family by a close family friend. I really hope that we can fund her funeral in full. Um, at this time, they need to focus on their grief and getting through this horrible event. Bianca headed for Jacksonville University to study criminal justice, the goal a job with the FBI. FBI. Now her death is a crime. Family and friends planning a 9 p.m. vigil to remember the recent high school graduate. The location, the backyard of the family home in West Town. It's personal here. This is her, this is her home. And it's more and the family's here and we're just here. Everybody's here. Okay, so that was the end of that video clip. As I had said earlier about her wanting to work with the, the, the FBI. If you were a loved one, suffer from Ironic. It's just ironic. And I just want to say to the family of this young lady, I am so sorry for your loss. I hope that they find this devil. Um, I hope they can find some type of peace in this this horrific tragedy. My heart and prayers go out to them. And I hope that he's found. I hope that he's found. And we have to stay vigilant, folks. We have to stay vigilant. And let me say this as my little closing. If you are white and you see this kind of stuff, you see these daily injustices, 
I need you and you you know it's wrong. You know this is so wrong. And not just this, I'm talking about everything from these, these killings, these cop killings, to, to just the whole, this whole entire system. You have to help us bring this down. We can't do this by ourselves. You guys have to bring this down. If you don't have this mentality, this twisted, just fucked up racist mentality, then welcome. Welcome aboard. Helping fight this. Welcome aboard. I welcome you. But if you do have this type of mentality and you do think that other folks, specifically black people, are below in every imaginable way you can think of, may you rot in the depths of hell, and may all the karma come on you and yours. And that's all I have to say. So let me know what you think in the comment section. And as I said, stated, remains. And if it gets too carried away, if my comment section gets carried away in the sense of I have nothing but a bunch of devils and sickos, I will shut down the comment section. So you, 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 so you might as well not even comment because it's not for you. You hear me trolls out there? I'll shut it down. This is my channel. I run stuff over here. Got it? And all right, and to my subscriber, thank you guys. Subscribers, thank you. Let me know what you think about the story. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.